my name is Sam, I'm from usephotoshop.com and today I'm going to help you understand how to use the burn tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm running the most current version at this time, Photoshop CS5. If you don't already have a image open, go to File, Open, or use the keyboard shortcut Control and the letter O to open an existing photo from your hard drive. In this case, I'm using this photo here. To find the tool, go to Window Tools to open up the Tools palette or the Tools window. It's located 7th from the top or 5th from the bottom on the left hand side or the right hand side rather. It may be hiding behind the Dodge tool or the Sponge tool. If it is, simply left click, hold down, you will see this menu appear and you can select the second option, the Burn tool. The keyboard shortcut is the letter O, meaning if I'm using another tool and I wanted to use the burn tool, simply by hitting the letter O on my keyboard, I will be taken back to that tool. Let me show you how it works. I can change a few of the attributes of this tool up here. I can click on the downward arrow. I can change the size, the hardness, and the brush tip. Let's raise up the size and let's leave the hardness at zero and here we can adjust the range and the exposure and the exposure means how much of an effect is applied if it was set very low at 10 percent so you would only get 10 percent of the effect if it was set at 100 you would get a very harsh effect at 100 percent strength the range determines which range the tool is working with. And what this tool does, the burn tool, is it darkens or burns an area of a photograph. If we have the range set to highlights, it will burn or darken the highlights of this photograph. I'll show you how it works by clicking and dragging over and you will see that all the bright areas of this photograph are being darkened. I'll undo that by holding down Control, Alt, and the letter Z on my keyboard, and I'll change that to Midtones, and I'll even increase the exposure so you can see the effect a bit more. And you'll see now when I draw over it, the midtones in the photograph are darkened, and this helps make our photo look shadowed or uh, a bit more rich. We can change that once again and to shadows and now just the shadows or the dark areas are being affected by this tool. And we can completely change the look of this photograph by going over, over everything with the burn tool and it makes it into a very different looking photograph than what we originally started with. And I'll show you the original by undoing that. And there's the original. So there's a quick overview of how to use the burn tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm Sam from usephotoshop.com.